This morning we look at the worry in Taiwan that China will attack it someday at a tense time for that whole region. A U.S. warship yesterday sailed through the Taiwan Strait, separating the island from China, a narrow body of water there. And it followed days of Chinese military drills around Taiwan. The U.S. Navy called the voyage a routine movement. Elizabeth Palmer looks now at how people, uh, the people of Taiwan themselves are preparing for a possible invasion while also hoping it never happens. Taiwan's steep coast and mountainous terrain make it something of a natural fortress. But China's People's Liberation Army could well mount an attack anyway, so Taiwan is beefing up its military and training with new U.S. weapons. Michael Cole is an analyst for the Republican Institute in Taiwan. The aim is not to defeat the PLA, but to promise that the PLA would suffer such damage that it would not be worth trying to invade Taiwan. Some civilians want to be part of that deterrent. Joyce Chang is one of them. And is it at the back of your mind and the back of your teammates' mind that one day this could be for real? You might have to fight to defend Taiwan. Sure. It's um, no doubt about that. Right now, though, everyone is praying it won't come to that. But when the Taiwanese people woke up 10 days ago to the news that Xi Jinping had ordered military exercises in the sea and the air around Taiwan, they were reminded that when he says he'll take control of the island by force if necessary, he means it. I know exactly how terrible a war is. Richard Hu retired as a major general in Taiwan's army. A lightning Chinese missile attack, he says, could knock out critical infrastructure before Taiwan or the U.S. had time to react. You could wipe out 95 percent of the, the power in uh, Taiwan if there's a war. Wow. So the, you're saying there's the, the strategic planning overall ha is not serious? Not very serious. Taiwan's military is getting more serious, but not everyone believes in fighting off China. The main Kuomintang political opposition wants closer links, and some want to outright join it. But young Taiwanese like Burton Lee and Tess Chu say absolutely no way. They were proud to show me life in this flourishing democracy that they say would be crushed by Chinese rule. We will lose our freedom, democratic, our religion, our tradition. This tropical island, from its ultra-high-tech semiconductor factories to its rural highlands where tea is still picked by hand, is now the most dangerous flashpoint in the confrontation between the U.S. and China. 23 million lives, American leadership and probably the world's economy all hang in the balance. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elizabeth Palmer in Taipei.